let's take a quick look at waved wavetable synth page so I won't go over every single knob and button but I'll give you a basic overview so you can see we have two screens displaying the two wavetable layers we also have so so those are tied to oscillator one which is on the left oscillator two which is on the right you also have a sub oscillator that you can turn on and you just have a, a few choices of analog modeled waveforms there that you can add and level and pan for that and then you have uh, a unique noise oscillator that Steinberg, uh, with this Halion Sonic engine, gives you a tremendous amount of choices for rhythmic noises, drum attacks, colored noises, weird circuit noises. It's all very cool stuff and not just the usual like white noise, pink noise. But I'm going to turn the noise in the sub off and we're just going to take a quick look at the oscillator one and two choices. So we have a pull down menu here and then in the sample fuel wavetable folder I believe there's 200 wavetables that you can choose and load. Um, and if you happen to own Cubase or Halion 6 or something you will see some of Steinberg's wavetables that you can also load as well. So let me turn off the second oscillator and let's just look at the first one. So you got ear tuning parameters and then you've got your uh, this is the speed at what uh, speed that the engine will will basically play through the wavetable so it's slowly moving but if we turn that up we can make it move across very quickly um, what you're seeing though is that we have this button on and this is like the unison kind of feature that we have on the main page as well but this is just for the oscillator so you turn it on and you can have like think of it as a number of copies of the wavetable so you can have up to eight of them kind of going so we had about three and then you can detune them so here's without it it's kind of simple and sterile but if you turn it on it gets thicker and then you can detune them and then you can pan them and spread them but I'm going to turn this off for a sec so you can see the, how the speed works. So it's kind of slow. It's You can see the line slowly moving through it. But if I turn that up, it'll move through it faster. And then we can have it alternate, come back and forth, just kind of loop. And it'll start over again. Um, There it goes. Or you can have it off where it'll just get stuck at the end. I tend to like to keep it on alternating so it goes back and forth. Then you have a position knob over here where you can basically start it. So it doesn't have to start at the front of the wave. It can start anywhere. Or you can have it create a random position. You can have the direction go backwards. So if you want to start the position further further in the wave it'll start to move backwards instead and of course the speed will change so that's basically it um, I want to show you on oscillator 2 which is more complex um, there's also you can change uh, the view so we're in a 3d view if you click on this you can see it in a 2d view as well but let's go back to the 3d view so I want to show you. So to edit this oscillator, you have to hit the Oscillator 2 tab. And here's all the same parameters. But I wanted to show you each oscillator, or, or for the two of them, oscillator 1 and 2, has a, a fixed LFO um, that you can turn on and off. And here's the pull down of what the LFO can affect. So it can affect just a handful of parameters. But I think that most musical and interesting parameters are either position or format shift. So we'll start with it on position. Um, here's where we can change the waveform of the LFO. So we'll keep it on pulse, turn the amount up pretty good. The rate's on a quarter note, and the shape is in the middle, which is best for pulse. And so I'm going to start with the amount at zero. And then as I turn it up, you'll see the position start to, to pulse and change. And 
And so if I want to turn it and make it slower or faster. Okay, and so the other cool um, thing you can modulate there, I think, is the format shift, which can radically change the sound. So it completely is changing the shape of the waveform. And since we didn't actually talk about the format shift, that's what's over here. So here's the raw waveform as it was basically sampled as a wavetable. But with the format shift, you can really sonically change it. And of course, you can right click and MIDI learn and put that on the mod wheel or whatever you want. But that is the basic overview of the waves synth page.